Hello! In this video I'm going to be walking you through the steps of making a chess set to be cut out on the CNC laser using 2D modeling methods in Autodesk Inventor. In a later video I will be doing another guided modeling exercise in Inventor using 3D modeling methods. If you're not yet familiar with creating artwork for the CNC laser using Inventor, check out my other video in this series titled Creating CNC Laser Graphics Using Autodesk Inventor. This video will walk you through the important steps, but will leave the creative design of your chess pieces up to you, so you should have a basic understanding of how to use the 2D sketch tools and constraints in Inventor. Let's get started. To begin, open a blank Inventor drawing file, then change the sheet size to the size of your laser bed. This makes it easier to visualize how your pieces are arranged relative to the laser bed. My laser this makes it easier to visualize how your pieces are arranged relative to the laser bed. My laser bed is 18 inches by 24 inches, so I will select that size sheet. Next, remove any borders or title blocks so that you're looking at a blank page. Now would be a good time to save your work. Be sure to give your file a descriptive name and place it in a folder where you can find it later. Click on the Sketch tab and Start Sketch, then click anywhere on your sheet. This first sketch will make up one half of the base of a piece. Later, this base will be copied to all of the other pieces so that it will be identical from one piece to the next. We're only drawing half of the base because we'll be using the mirror tool to copy this half and make a full base later. Start with a horizontal line measuring 0.75 inches. From the bottom right corner of this line, sketch a vertical line measuring 4.5 inches. This will be the height of the king. For our other pieces, we'll change this height dimension to make each piece one half inch shorter than the previous piece. So the queen will be four inches tall, the bishop three and a half inches tall, and so on. Now draw another horizontal line starting at the midpoint of the height line and set it to be three thirty seconds of an inch long. I'll explain what this is for later. Grab the point tool and place three points in the area to the upper left of your base like this. Now dimension the height of these three points to be 0.6 inches, 0.25 inches, and 0.1 inches from the bottom. Next, select the circle tool from the tool panel and click on the lowest of the three points to set the center. Drag your mouse out so that the edge of the circle is even with the bottom horizontal line. If it isn't already, use the vertical constraint to set the center of the circle vertical to the end of the horizontal line, and the tangent constraint to set the line tangent to the circle. Place the center of the circle on the middle point, and drag the edge of the circle out until it touches the center of the first circle. Use the vertical constraint to set the third point vertical to the second point, and make the third circle there. Drag the edge of the circle out until it touches the edge of the second circle. Now use the line tool to connect the top of the third circle with the vertical line. Be sure the line is tangent to the circle. Use the tangent constraint if necessary. Use the trim tool to trim away all of the line segments that are inside the base outline until only the outline remains. Use the vertical tool to align the point where the second circle intersects the first vertically with the center of the first circle. Your base is now all set. This is a good time to save your work. We will be using this base for all of the pieces in the set, so before we finish the king piece, select all of the lines in the sketch, right click and copy the lines. Then click finish sketch, then start a new sketch on the sheet. Right click and paste the lines into the new sketch, then click finish sketch again. This empty base in sketch 2 will be here when we need it later, but for now you can drag it out of the way. Double click sketch 1 to get back into edit sketch mode. Now we can finish drawing one half of the king piece, but keep in mind that we will be mirroring this half to make the full piece, so it isn't necessary to sketch the whole thing. Be sure the middle of the piece does not get any narrower than the 3 seconds inch line we made earlier. You can design your king piece to look however you want. Make your shape distinct so that it will be clear which piece is the king when all of the pieces are done. Experiment with different drawing tools to create your own creative king design.
Once you have your half profile of the king drawn, it's time to mirror the first half to make the full piece. Select the mirror tool from the pattern panel, then select all of the lines drawn on the left side of the vertical line, including the 3 32nd inch midpoint line drawn earlier. Click the mirror line option in the mirror tool window, then select the vertical line and click apply. You should be looking at the full king piece. If you still have a horizontal line separating the base from the top of the piece, trim or delete that line now. Select all of the lines in the sketch, right click, and copy the lines. Now click finish sketch and start a new sketch. Right click and paste the lines into the new sketch. In this new sketch, draw two vertical lines extending from the 3 32nd midpoint lines straight down to the bottom edge of the piece. Delete the center vertical line in the sketch. Finish this sketch and return to sketch 1. In this sketch, draw two vertical lines from the 3 32nd inch midpoint lines to the top of the piece. Then delete the center vertical line. You can now finish sketch 1. What we've done here is made two king profiles, one with a notch in the top and the other with a notch in the bottom. When the laser cuts out these two profiles, the notches will slide together and the two halves will fit together to make one complete king piece. This king is designed to be made from 3 16th inch thick material, so the initial line we drew to make the notch had to be 3 32nds of an inch long to create a 3 16th inch wide notch after the mirror. If you plan to use a different thickness of material, you should adjust your notch width accordingly. The process of making the rest of the chess pieces is the same. I'm going to copy the base sketch we made earlier into new sketches, then modify those sketches to create the queen, bishop, knight, rook, and pawn. Each piece will be duplicated and a notch will be added to each sketch, with one going up from the midpoint and one going down. As you adjust the height of each piece, be sure that the 3 32nd inch midpoint line stays at the midpoint of the vertical line. You will also find that some pieces need slightly different considerations. For example, the bishop piece is usually designed with a slot in one half of the top, so while you sketch this piece, be sure that that slot doesn't get mirrored onto both sides or copied onto the second bishop profile. The knight is asymmetrical, so instead of copying the full knight profile into a second sketch, copy only the base such that the knight has a base to interlock with, but not two different horse heads. You will need to adjust the height of the interlocking notches to account for this. Again, design your chess pieces any way you want. This is your chance to add a creative touch to your chess set. When you have finished all of the pieces, you may want to make duplicates of some to get the full set of pieces into one print job. The set requires two bishops, two knights, two rooks, and eight pawns. You can create a new sketch for each copy and then paste the original sketches into the new sketches. If you want to produce both sets of pieces in one print job, then you may want to repeat this process a second time to get both colored sets of chess pieces. Before this job is ready to print, it is necessary to set all of the line weights appropriately for vector cutting on the CNC laser. Select all of the lines on the sheet, then right click and select Properties. Change the line type to continuous, the line weight to 0.001 inches, and the line color to black. Your file should now be ready for printing. This video covered a method for creating a set of chess pieces using Autodesk Inventor and a CNC laser using only 2D modeling methods. We can complete this project a different way using 3D modeling methods in Inventor, so keep an eye out for that video in the future. For a walkthrough of how to send this file to the CNC laser and run the job, check out my other videos in this series titled Preparing Files for an Epilogue CNC Laser and Running CNC Laser Files on an Epilogue Laser. Thanks for watching, and good luck!